Visa Yab Migration Services, managed by Dr. Siros Amadi, invite you to watch the community TV show. Previously on this episode, we learned about the business life in New Zealand, but now I'm going to show you the financial side. That's why we're going to have a chat with Mr. Shahram Shor, who is a Persian financial advisor here in New Zealand, and he will take us deeper into the financial advisory role and more. So let me take you there. Mr. Shore, and thank you very much for joining us in this interview. It's a pleasure to have you on the pleasure show. Is mine. No, thank you so much. Um, as you know, we're going to talk about finances today and everything to do with the industry in New Zealand. But before we get started, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself and when you decided to move to New Zealand? As you know, my name is Sharon. I'm a director of the Trusted Advisor. So I come in New Zealand in 2009. And a little bit about my background. So I have been working in the medical sector in Iran for four years. And I was working in the biopharmaceutical company for three years. And I've been registered here as a medical lab technician. And that's the thing that just bring me to New Zealand. But why I go to the finance? <laughs> uh, when I come here, I get to know some people that are doing the finance, insurance, and those stuff. And I find a little bit gap in the finance stuff that the people don't know exactly about the insurance products and the, how to pre represent their medical condition to the insurance company. And that's why I was thinking that, ah, oh, that's the point I can help the, these people. So just better understand that what they need to disclose and how to disclose and the insurance company know everything about it at the beginning. That's why I started this job back in 2010, I would say so. Wow, yeah. so, you, so you've studied in the, in the uh, medical field and you've worked in the medical field, but as you just said, there's a big gap between medical and insurance here, but um, you managed to get into the industry. And is it hard to get into the finance industry in New Zealand? How did you find it when you were starting in? Uh, it was easy at the beginning, but now the regulation has changed. So you have to have a qualification, you have to have uh, proper system in place, you have to have your competency, your skills, your knowledge, then you would be able to advise on the financial things. Yeah. Right, so you definitely need a license and also the education background and also yep. the studies to get yep. into the yep. finance. Yep. Amazing. And do you have any Persian clients uh, within the Persian community here? Yeah, I would say more than 60% of my databases are uh, Persian. I'll just say about Persian and Iranian is a little bit different in here. I mean, what, what I'm saying is most of my clients are Farsi-speaking community. It can be the Afghan people, it can be Tajik people or Kurdish people or Iranian as well. So these are the mixture of different community in New Zealand. And what is your point of view regarding social activities within the Persian community here in New Zealand? How do you support the Persian community here? I mean, it's not just about the Persian community. In New Zealand, it's got the diverse community. We have um, like uh, English people, Kiwi people, we've got the Indian, Pakistanian, Afghanian from all around the world. And this is the most diverse country in the world, I would say, because of the population that we have. About five or six million people together, but we have different variety of different community. So most of the community in New Zealand, they are family-centric community. So our job is to just have a plan in place for those families to support them during their life. And they are not just a client 
for me as an advisor, they are part of my family. That's true, and you bring a really good point because the ultimate goal for everyone in the world is to bring everyone together. It doesn't matter if you're black, doesn't matter if you're white, doesn't matter if you're poor, rich. The point is to just bring everyone together. And I think you made a point um, about you know the financial situations of people in New Zealand. What is your point of view or advice, I should say, to the people who have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic? You know, they've lost their jobs, they lost their businesses, their homes and everything. Um, what do you think? Because the economic status I know in New Zealand and other countries are quite down. So what would be your advice? COVID teach us that our health is first. So we need to invest on our, our health. So you know that with all of those COVID things going on, so people, most of people, they affect mentally. So that's mental health need to be supported. The other side of it was the financial things, which again, affect the mental health yeah. and also their health as well. So if they get the COVID and those stuff. So those people, they have some plan in place so they can they survive during that time. If they affected by COVID, if they couldn't work, if they get redundant because of the financial impact on the company and they made lots of people redundant. So if they, when they have the plan in place, so they get survived for that time and they can find the job somewhere else and they get paid for that period of time. Oh, well, so all of the points that you just talked about, I'm sure it's vital to many people and I'm sure that the audiences at home are also taking notes and now thinking and planning ahead because you never know, you might be sleeping one day, waking up the next morning, it's locked down, there's a virus, a deadly virus, yeah. Yeah. so that's true. But do you have anything else you'd like to share with us regarding any advices or anything? It is important to have, to know our community. It doesn't matter Persian or Iranian or Indian. It, it, it is matter that you know other people to help you deal in a community. So have a more secure place in, in the community. When you feel confident that there are other people, lawyers, finance people, or other people can help you in any stage of your life, I think that's the best way you can support your community. Wow, truer words could have never been spoken. And thank you very much for joining us in this interview. I'm sure the audiences at home are actually now uh, planning ahead for their future because you never know, anything could just change like that. So thank you for joining us and thank you for your time. No worries at all. Thanks for coming to not the a, office today. Not yeah. a problem. Thank you for joining Cheers. us. Thank you. And don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more on Community TV Show. Where would you like to live? Where is your second home? How far would you care to follow your dreams? Visa Yob will help you obtain visas for Australia, New Zealand, Europe and Canada. We will also support you with company registration, business investment, job offers and settlement services. We will show you the optimal path. We will walk every inch of the way with you. Choice, not chance, makes destiny. Giant Burger is open and welcomes you to our restaurant at 71 Jellicoe Road, Panmore, Auckland. We make our foods with fresh meats and salads and serve them in the restaurant or for takeaway. Enjoy the most delicious, mouth-watering Persian-made burgers and fast foods at Giant Burger.